I'm Jay Gar Garciano and I am here to show you an informative, short, fun, to learn video about Hildegard Peplaw's interpersonal relations, eerie. In studying interpersonal psychology, as I did at Bennington College, it occurred to me then and uh, later that uh, this was an important theory, that it had great relevance for clinical practice, and that the profession needed to know about it, and so I published a book. When, when you talk about my work, I don't think it should be limited to a book I published in 1952, I did other things. So I took personality theory and I showed that this is the theory and if you apply it in nursing, this is what it will help you to understand about patients and this is what it will suggest that you should do or might do that would be beneficial. No, every nurse I think needs to deal with the, the human type problems or the, as the ANA definition of nursing says the human responses that patients or people have to actual and potential health problems are within the broad scope of nursing. They're not confined to psychiatric nursing. Uh, one of the things that I have done and put in the literature is a method of psychotherapeutic interviewing. I mean I I like to uh, become involved in, uh, in puzzles or issues or questions and, and then pursue them as best I can. And uh, with the resources that have been available to me, I, I think the nurses today are much more fortunate. There are more resources and more acceptability of, of scholarship, more, uh, the climate is more favorable for scholarship and research now uh, than it was in an earlier era. Stranger Rule receives client the same way you meet a stranger, builds trust, occurs when the nurse and client becomes acquainted. Teaching role primary goal is to assist the client to attain knowledge to improve health. Gives much importance to self-care and in helping the patient understand therapeutic plan. Counseling role. In this role Pet Law believes that the role has greatest importance and emphasis in nursing because it strengthens the nurse-patient relationship as the nurse becomes listening friend lets the client to make beneficial changes in life.
Gate Road. Temporary caregiver wherein the patient recognizes the nurse has similarities with the person whom he recalls in previous relationship. The nurse acts as client advocate. Leadership role. The nurse must act on behalf of the patient's best interest and at the same time enable him to make decisions over his own care. Satisfaction must be mutual between the client and the nurse. Technical expert role. Provides physical care by displaying clinical skills. Nurse must be good in operating equipment. Resource role. The nurse answers questions, interprets clinical data, and gives information to the patient or to the significant others. This is the orientation phase. Hi, Charlie. Hi. My name's Ali. I'm going to be your RPN. I'm going to be taking over. Okay. Now, do you know why you're here? Yeah, I had a bit of a fall last night outside. Okay. So how are you feeling? How's your pain? Not bad. The nurse gave me a little bit of medication for my headache a little while ago, so that's pretty good. I do have a little bit of an el a sore elbow, though. It must have hit it on my way down. Okay. So we'll definitely have the doctor look at that. Okay. Um, however, we are going to uh, get you over to the uh, CAT scans. Okay. Do you, it's just some uh, usual treatments. Okay. For Perfect. That. Okay. If you want to follow me. This is the identification phase. Through those CAT scans. How are you feeling? Not bad. A little, a little bit dizzy. Yeah, just a little bit though. Okay. So I'm just going to talk to your doctor about your results. Okay. I'll be right back. Thank you. Are you comfortable? Yes, thank you. Okay. Hi, Ellie. Hi. How are you feeling? Good, thank you. Okay. So, um, you do have a little bit of a concussion. Okay. Uh, it's not a big deal, it's just a mild one. Okay. Um, just from the fall, you, you did fall on the back of your head, so it just caused a little bit of trauma to your brain. Okay. Uh, it looks like you'd be okay, though. That's okay, the good thing. Okay, good. So, are you feeling a little bit better from your pain yes, medication? Yes, not too bad. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to your doctor again, mm -hmm. and he just has some medication for you. Okay. And then I'm going to organize up your uh, discharge papers. Okay. Sound good? Perfect. Thank okay. you. No problem. This is the exploitation phase. Hi, Carly. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Okay. So the doctor has uh, some medication for you. Okay. Um, we did call your mom. Okay. She's on her way to come and get you. Okay. Um, just some things I want to talk to you about, about when you're at home. Okay. Um, just make sure that uh, you don't fall asleep for too long. Okay. Just make sure that your mom's with you all the time. Make sure you're okay. Um, the other thing is just make sure you drink a lot of fluids as well. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, not really. The doctor will talk to me about my medications. Okay. Yeah, the doctor's going to talk to you about your medications. How okay. To take them and how much to take them. So he's going to have all those uh, answers for you there. Perfect. Um, so I'm just going to uh, get some medication for you. 
because he should be all ready with that. Okay. okay. Right back. Okay. This is the resolution phase. Hi, Charlie. Hi. So here's your medication. Okay. Thank you. So the doctor did talk to you a little bit about it? Yes, he gave me the list of do's and don'ts. It says I'm ready to go home, so okay. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, your mom's here. Okay. Um, so she's just waiting out in the hall for you. Okay. Um, so how's your elbow feeling? Good, much better. Thank Everything you. Everything's feeling yeah. better. How's your nausea? Good, I'm really excited to get home. Okay, good. So just remember what I said. Um, if you need to call any time, feel free if you have any questions. Okay, if you're feeling any uh, further pain or dizziness or blurriness in your vision, mm -hmm. make sure you come back right away, okay? Okay, perfect. So I already talked about these things with your mom yeah. as well. And uh, yeah, like I said, any questions at all, my name's Allie. It was very nice working with you. Same with you. Thank you okay. so much for all your help. Okay, no problem. Take Bye. care, okay?